Hi there, this is Anne with Connors Clinic, and today we're going to talk about fats and your FADS gene. So when we're talking about fats, we're talking about, you know, nutrition, what we're eating and how it's breaking down in our body and being utilized. So we're looking Today we're just talking about fats, but ultimately fats, proteins, and carbs, they are broken down into acetylcholine A, and that's what kicks off the Krebs cycle. And um, through the Krebs cycle, we ultimately produce ATP, which is what our cells use as energy uh, to perform their function. So if somebody um, is not converting their nutrients properly, they most likely will feel fatigue. So when we're looking at a genetic profile, again, we're looking at all of the genes that are associated with the Krebs cycle. And this FADS gene is just one of those gene families in this section. And as you can see here, this person has a, a lot of ones and twos in, in this column for these genes. The ones and twos are signaling variants uh, for those each one of those particular genes. So they have a lot, a lot of twos and some ones. So this person um, is most likely not converting their fats, breaking them down appropriately um, to be utilized for energy. So again, we just check in with symptoms, you know, do they feel fatigue? This person definitely had some fatigue going on. Other things can affect a person's energy. So again, this is just one area and one gene family. And when we look at the graphs on the right side, we can see um, where that person is falling in relation to the people who are within our database when we look at genes and then the average of where those people are falling. And so anytime um, a person is falling to the right side of the mean, and then, um, you know, that's kind of the more risk category. And then if they're out way at the end in that red zone, it's even a higher risk of them uh, feeling some ill effects from the variants in this family. So you can see on the top graph here, the FADS1, where they fall, this person falls, is the blue line, which is way out to the right there. And then for the FADS2 genes, um, they're still falling to the right, not quite as high in that red zone, but still in the darker orange zone. So this definitely, um, genetically speaking, can be a risk, something you want to investigate. Again, this person was having symptoms of fatigue. So another way we can back up kind of what we're looking at when we look at genes is by doing a organic acids test. And so this is looking at fats, proteins, carbs, energy, um, production as well.